Hey, so today we are going to be painting some tiny paintings. Um, I've done tiny paintings before. I don't know if you can see some in my wall back there, but there's two tiny paintings right here and there's more going this way, but you can't see them. So I love doing tiny paintings for practice just for fun. So I thought today we can do some more tiny paintings and these are just for fun. So I don't have too much footage of me painting them, but I thought it would still be kind of cool to see my process. So I guess that is it. So let's go paint some tiny paintings. <laughs> So these are the two Pokemon I decided to paint. I decided to do a Quagsire and a Wooloo. If you don't know what they are, you probably don't know Pokemon, but I've actually done multiple tiny Pokemon paintings before. What I'm just doing here is I'm just taking like video clips after I make a change to the painting. So like here you can see I'm slowly adding all the colors to the rainbow and then like the bushes come in. The reason I decided to film like this is because these are paintings I was planning to just do in my free time and sometimes the pressure of me actually filming what I'm doing, um, I tend to mess up a lot more. So I thought it would be a good idea just to like record after I finish a step instead of during me doing the step. I also try not to put too much pressure on myself to make these paintings look super finished or anything. I just try to have fun. And these paintings are always just for me. They mainly go up on my wall. Um, I actually started painting by doing tiny paintings. I just felt like it was less pressure because it wasn't such a big canvas. So here the Wooloos are almost done, but I didn't like how their fur looked, so I decided to give them a little more texture. Also, I kind of hated those flowers on the ground at the start, but I ended up liking them, and this is pretty much the Wooloos done. So now we're going to move on to the Quagsires, and with the Wooloos, I had somewhat of a plan. With the Quagsires, I really was kind of winging it, and I was expecting this one to be a disaster. Usually when I do paintings without any sort of reference, it goes downhill, but this one actually turned out pretty okay. Another goal I had for these paintings was to give the Pokemon to be in a little bit more of a different position than just like straight forward, straight on. That's why we have the weird Quagsire that's just like, just showing like the top half of him. Um, also in the Wooloo one, if you notice, I had one Wooloo jumping, and the pr reason was I didn't want to just make them look very stiff. I wanted to try to put some movement when I was looking at photos of quagsires, I don't think Pokemon has ever consistently drawn a quagsire the same way. Um, they literally look different in every Pokemon card game, so it was pretty easy to not go wrong with them. As long as they looked blobby and had the quagsire features, I felt like I couldn't go wrong. So at this point, I didn't know what else to add. I was kind of stuck. I ended up deciding to add fireflies and then putting leaves and lily pads in the water. And I am so happy with how this one looks. It turned out way better than I expected. So here is both of my Pokemon paintings. I like the Quagsires better, but let me know which one you like better. I feel like I'm biased to the Quagsires just because they're my favorite Pokemon. Also, if there's any Pokemon you would like me to paint in the future, definitely let me know. Like I said, I do these Pokemon, tiny Pokemon paintings quite frequently. I just like to do them in my free time for practice. I'm still so shocked that these didn't turn out like disasters. I am so proud that they actually look like good paintings. Anyways, let's flip back to me so I can wrap up this video. So I hope you enjoyed seeing me paint the tiny Pokemon paintings. Um, I really love how they came out. Actually, I've already put them on my wall, but you can't see them yet. Um, I absolutely love them. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing it. I also just wanted to say that if you see me doing some different videos that are a little bit shorter on my channel, um, I am going to be trying to do some different stuff for the new year. I'm just hoping, it's, I just want to experiment a little more on YouTube. So if you see some videos that are not like my usual videos, like this is definitely one that's not like my usual videos. I also feel like my videos are just too long sometimes. So I'm going to try to be making some maybe funner, slightly shorter videos that aren't as long. So if you see those, just, just let me experiment in peace um this video was like i said very different like format too than some of my other videos so anyways i hope you like this video subscribe if you want to see more from me i'm hoping to do more maybe we'll paint some more pokemon on this channel in the future i love doing tiny pokemon paintings like i said for practice they're just fun and easy to do and pokemon are cute so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video um subscribe if you'd like to see more from me i'll leave my instagram and my Etsy and all that down in the description in case you want to check me out anywhere else. Um, I'll have the Pokemon paintings on my Instagram if you'd like to look at them a little better. I know sometimes the video footage is quick, but if you'd like to look at them longer, they're on my Instagram. Yeah, I think that is it for this one, so I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.